brought to you by GTA. We start with you. So Nicholas went through each of the legislature's proposed spending priorities and noted that with the exception of a few, all seem to fit the guidelines. He also believes certain legacy issues such as fully funding the Chamorro Land Trust should be among the priorities. So Nicholas also singled out premium pay for essential lower income workers. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the essential workers doing what they did. And so that is absolutely something that I believe needs to be recognized and prioritized. He says they may also be eligible for retrospective premium pay. Vice Speaker Tina Barnes has jumped on the issue. In a news release, she called on the governor to issue premium pay to critical workers. Barnes says it means up to 13 more dollars per hour, up to a total of 25,000 per eligible worker. Meanwhile, the territories will receive 4.5 billion out of the 350 billion or a little over 1% of local recovery funding. So Nicholas says it's more than a fair apportionment for Guam. If we were to, on a per capita basis, evaluate all of the money that we've received, we actually received a lot more than most states. So Nicholas also discussed several ineligible uses. In particular, the funding cannot be used to offset tax cuts. The governor, though, has made it clear that she does not support any reduction of the business privilege tax. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lacanto.